my name is Nanette Retz and welcome to my channel. This is the first video to a five part series where I urban sketch for five days in a row. This is to practice my landscape skills because I plan on drawing books later in the future, but I've only ever practiced like throughout my entire like art journey. I've only really focused on people, animals, and then sometimes plants. So I really want this to change because I'm kind of getting bored of drawing the same thing all the time. Um, this will help me practice my watercolor skills too because I really love watercolor, but I need I definitely need to try something new. So there's this big community of urban sketchers that I recently stumbled upon on YouTube and I fell in love with it. I just, I found it yesterday and all day yesterday I was just sketching and painting and inking and it is so fun. Definitely give it a try. So urban sketching is drawing on location. It's a big community of people that will travel to their city or other cities or villages or towns. Just, it doesn't even have to be out of your town. You could go to your town and you could just sit down on the cafe and you start drawing. You're just drawing on location. So that would, for example, like if you go to like a cafe, um, obviously order something. And <laughs> you just will draw like the architecture or the landscape or just whatever scenery you see. People are not the main focus when you do urban sketching or landscape sketching or painting. Um, they're just like little ornaments to your painting. You, what you really want to focus on is what trees do you see? What buildings do you see? How does it all work together? The composition of it all. So I just love it. I really want to give it a try. And I, I think it'd be really cool to document my progress and my growth in this five part series. And if you would like to come along with me, you're more than welcome. So here's what today looks like. I'm going to go to the gym with my boyfriend first, if he ever wakes up, because it's 8 in the morning right now. And then I'm going to go to Walmart and pick up my art supplies. I would love to go to an art store like Miss Joanne's or Michael's, but it's the end of the month and I have to wait to get paid till next Friday, so that sucks. So I'm going to go to Walmart pick up some discount watercolor sketchbook because my books they're mixed media but i want like a specific like my own book just for this like urban sketching um i feel like if i buy myself a book dedicated for that i won't stop doing it that's gonna make me keep practicing and i also want to get a waterproof pen because i don't have any and it's really annoying when shit bleeds cursed I don't really need to pick up any more watercolors because I have this really cute Royal and Langnickel watercolor set. I love this. This is what got me back into watercolor painting in the beginning of this year. Oh my god, so cute. Well, the colors are pigmented. I'm gonna use this. My mom bought me this one, which I love, but all the colors kind of overwhelm me. Like, there's so many greens. <laughs> Why? So, um, I'm just gonna use this one when I travel. What else? I pretty much have everything. I just want a new book and a pen. So yeah, please come with me along this journey and support me because I'm a little insecure about this, but let's get into it. All right, so I'm back from Walmart. I am pretty happy with all the supplies I got. I'm really happy about the pens I got. I got the Micron pens. I remember being a kid and being on Tumblr when I shouldn't have been on Tumblr and seeing like all the art hoes have these pens and I remember like really wanting some, but they were always so expensive and I never wanted to ask my mom to get me them. But now that I have a job, I can finally give myself my own pens and they're waterproof which I'm really happy about. 
I also ended up getting this. It is by Grumbatcher. I don't think I said it right. It's acid free, which when I was watching like um, urban sketching essential videos, <laughs> they recommend getting acid free so that the ink and the water color paint doesn't fade as much over time. This is nice. I think I'm going to use it like this. Um, yeah, I want to swap swatch my pens and I'm probably going to get ready to go for a walk with my doggy Ruby. We'll probably go to the park that's a little down the way and sketch some of the houses that are around there, some of the trees. Um, plans for today kind of got moved around. I went to Walmart first and then now I'm sketching. I'll go to the gym later. Also, if you're trying to break a coffee addiction, I found that English breakfast tea tastes like coffee. It's so good. It's really caffeinated though. I think it has like 61 milligrams of caffeine in it. Um, it's by the brand Tazo, the one I'm drinking right now. So good. And then my boyfriend's drinking organic chai, which I love chai tea. So highly recommend English breakfast tea by Tazo. ready to go we don't know why but she walks like a snake <laughs> it's so foggy right now man i think these trees would be cool to paint okay so i was going to go to the park but i think i'm gonna go to this church instead um i hope they don't mind me sketching out here it's just gonna be me and my dog <laughs> so this is what it looks like so this area, I really like the benches and this, they have like a little garden over here. So I kind of want to capture the palm trees. Ruby's taking a pee pee. <laughs> so let's try it out. I don't know why, but she got on top of the bench. <laughs> yeah, Ruby, fuck it up. Alright, so I guess there's nothing to it but to do it. Um, so I think I'm going to start out first by making a frame. Yes, I am being bold and making my first drawing on the very first page of my book. Just want to try it out. I already like this paper. It feels so good and rough. I also like the size. So I want to capture this garden that they have going on. It's a community garden. I think it's very cute. I want that to be the focal point of my drop.
Okay, so I am hikey mad at myself because I didn't push record. And I finished it. <laughs> anyway, this is it. Um, I say it's a pretty good first attempt at urban sketching, like at location. I, I yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. I think I'm going to stop here just because I don't want to overwork it. I feel like I tend to ruin things when I add too much detail. Like I like how the houses came out. They're there's they're in the foreground. They're not the main focus. The main focus is like this area. This bench came out really cute. This came out good. I don't know how I could make this better. Maybe if I added like more um, ink, I might do that when I get home. Um, this came out cute. This was let's say garden. If you didn't plant it, don't pick it, and it came out kind of funky. <laughs> and then some cool palm trees, and I'll show you what it looks like. Something like that. All right, I think that is all I'm going to record for today's video. I don't think I'll record myself going to the gym because it doesn't have anything to do with art. Um, this is really cool. Even though I know I can do better, I say it's a pretty good like first page of my little watercolor book. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. And if you wanna follow me on my little art journey, you can subscribe. I don't know how much I'll post on here, but this was really fun and I probably have a lot to edit. Bye.